was uh, kind of like a destiny, you know, something that just happened out of the blue. You know, I saw the tennis court and I saw tennis on the TV when I was four and my, my uh, father bought me a, a small tennis racket and that's when I think we all fell in love with, with the sport. Growing up was uh, was quite unique, you know. I, I think uh, we we didn't have uh, a childhood that is similar to maybe some, some of our generations, you know, the tennis players, because we grew up during the war. The third night of NATO attacks and facilities around the Yugoslav capital were high on the target list. Explosions sent fireballs into the sky and shattered windows in suburbs of Belgrade. Many people took cover in underground shelters. A humanitarian catastrophe. Those times certainly something that I don't wish for anybody to experience. Two and a half months, every single day and night, you know, bombs coming to to the city, and we saw planes flying over our heads, and and you know, literally rockets and bombs landing half a mile away. But you know. In my case, from my perspective, it gave me much more appreciation for all the value that I have in my life. I mean, from tennis to, to whatever, you know, I, I just, I know what it feels like being without, you know, anything more or less. And then being, being on the top of the world in, the, in this, in the very global and popular sport in the world. So this contrast gives me, gives me a, a right, you know, kind